to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss how to solve knapsack problem using branch and bound technique with the help of construction of state space tree. Already in the previous session, we have discussed what is knapsack problem and what is the constraint to implement knapsack problem. What is the procedure to implement knapsack problem using branch and bound technique and what are all the steps we need to consider to construct the state space tree. So these concepts already we have discussed in the previous session. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. Now we will discuss one problem to implement knapsack problem using branch and bound technique. So this is the given problem. Solve the following knapsack problem using branch and bound technique given the following data. Capacity of knapsack M is equal to 10 and the items they have given 4 items with its corresponding weight value and also they have given value by weight ratio okay so the first step we need to consider here is we need to arrange the items given in this problem in decreasing order of value by weight ratio so first step is order the items in decreasing order of value by weight ratio already the given items is in the decreasing order of value by weight ratio only so no need to order anything here Okay, and the capacity here they have given us M is equal to 10. And in this knapsack problem, we are going to find the upper bound value. In each step, we will find the upper bound value. And this upper bound value can be calculated using the formula UB is equal to V plus V is value of the items. V plus M minus W. M is the maximum capacity. W is the weight of the particular item. Okay, into V I plus 1 divided by W I plus 1. So, this is value by weight ratio of the next item. So, what is the current item we are going to consider? That is nothing but I. Suppose if you are considering the first item in the sense, I plus 1 in the sense, the second item. So, here we have to consider the value by weight ratio of the next item. Okay, to calculate the upper bound value. So, W is the total weights of all the objects placed into the knapsack. And V is the total profit or value of the objects placed into the knapsack. So next step, we will find the initial upper bound value. That is without considering any item. Okay, item value is 0 and weight is 0. Without considering any item, what is the upper bound value? Okay, that is the first step. And the next step onwards, you are considering that particular item, what is the upper bound value? If you are not considering that particular item, what is the upper bound value? For all the four items, we will eliminate. Okay, so next we need to find the initial upper bound value. So initial upper bound value if you are considering in the sense that is item is equal to 0. That is we are not going to consider any item. So if you are considering the 0th item, its value is 0, no value and weight is also 0. Okay, and next if you are considering M minus W in the sense. M is nothing but the maximum capacity. So, what is the maximum capacity they have given? The value is 10. Okay. So, M minus W in the sense 10 minus 0 in the sense we will get it as 10. And value by weight ratio of the next item that is VI plus 1. I is 0 now. Okay. 0 plus 1 in the sense V1 divided by W1. So, value by weight ratio of the next item in the sense this is the first item. Then Upper bound is equal to V. V is 0. V plus M minus W. So, here M minus W. That is V plus M minus W into V1 divided by W1. So, here V value is 0. M minus W is 10 into 10. So, here we will get the upper bound value 100. So, this is the initial upper bound value. Next step consider the first item. If you are including that item into the knapsack, what is the upper bound value? If you are not including that item into the knapsack, what is the upper bound value? Both we have to calculate. So, if you are including this item in the sense W is, so previous step, what is the W value? It is 0. 0 plus first item weight is 4. So, 0 plus 4, we will get it as 4. And V, if you are considering in the sense, V is, previous step, V value was 0, okay? 
zero plus current item value was forty. So here we will get it as forty. Next m minus w. So m minus w is ten minus current w value was four. Current weight is four. So ten minus four we will get it as six. Next upper bound is equal to v value was forty. V the formula already you know. Okay, v plus m minus w into v one divided by w one. So here we need to consider v two divided by w two. Okay, so v plus m minus w. So m minus w value is six into value by weight ratio of the next item. Currently we are considering the first item. So next item in the sense value by weight ratio of the second item we need to consider. So here. Forty plus thirty-six. The upper bound we will get it as seventy-six. Okay, next. So this is the upper bound. If you are including this particular item into the knapsack, you are selecting the first item and you are placing that item into the knapsack. And then this is the upper bound, seventy-six. If you are not including this first item in the sense, what is the upper bound? So weight is equal to previous step weight is zero plus current step weight is zero because we are not including this particular item. Similarly, v value is also zero plus zero. Okay, so here we will get it as zero. And m minus w, if we are considering in the sense that value previous step m minus w is ten. Ten minus currently m minus w value is zero because we are not considering this item. So here value is ten. So upper bound is equal to v is zero plus m minus w is ten and value by weight ratio of the next item in the sense that is six. Okay. So here we will get it as upper bound value is ten into six sixty. We will get it. Okay. So here if you are adding item number one into the knapsack, we will get the upper bound value seventy six. Without adding item number one in the sense, upper bound value was sixty. Which upper bound value we will consider? Upper bound value with seventy six. This is the highest. Okay, so we will decide to include item number one into the knapsack. So with this note, we will continue to the next level. Next up, consider item number two. If you are considering to add item number two into the knapsack, what is the upper bound value? If you are not considering item number two to add it into the knapsack, what is the upper bound value? So here item number two weight is seven, value is forty-two, and here we need to consider value by weight ratio of the next item. So that is item number three value by weight ratio we need to consider. That already we know. Weight is firstly item number one we have included its weight is four. Currently, if you are including item number two, its weight is seven. So total weight it will be eleven. But what is our maximum capacity? It is ten only. Okay. But if you are adding item number two in the sense, it will exceed the maximum capacity. It will not satisfy our problem constraint. So if you are adding item number two, it won't provide a feasible solution. This is a dead end. So we won't consider to include item number two. So without adding item number two in the sense, weight is previously it is four. Currently we are not considering item number two, so it is zero. So weight is four only, and the value was forty for item number one. Okay, plus currently it is zero, so total value was forty only. And m minus w, if you are considering in the sense m is ten, that is the maximum capacity. And we have considered only item number one to place it into the knapsack. Its weight is four. The remaining capacity is six. So here upper bound value is value is forty plus m minus w is six into value by weight ratio of the next item. That is the third item. Currently we are considering second item. Value by weight ratio of the next item was five. So here we will get the upper bound value seventy. So among these two, which one you will choose? This is not feasible. So obviously we will proceed with this node only. Okay. Next step. Consider item number three. If you are adding item number three, what is the upper bound value? If you are not adding item number three, what is the upper bound value? Okay. So here, if you are adding item number three in the sense weight is previously we have added only item number one, its weight is four. Currently, if you are adding item number three, its weight is five. 
So total weight it was 9. What is our maximum capacity? It is 10. So we can consider to include item number 3 into the knapsack because adding this item will not destroy our problem constraint. And value if you are considering in the sense previously item number 1 value is 40 plus currently if you are adding this item its value is 25 totally we will get the value 65. M minus W if you are considering in the sense maximum weight is 10 and current weight is 9 with item 1 and 3. So, remaining capacity is 1 and upper bound value is value 65 plus M minus W into value by weight ratio of the next item. Currently, we are considering third item. Value by weight ratio of the next item is 4. So, here we will get the upper bound value 69. So, here if you are adding this item, it will not destroy the problem constraint. So, we can consider to add this item. Suppose, if you are not considering to add item number 3 in the sense, weight is previously it is 4, currently it is 0. So, it will be 4 only. And value is previously it is 40, currently it is 0 because we are not considering to add item number 3. So, it is 40 only. And M minus W it is same only. 10 minus 4, this weight. So, here we will get it as remaining capacity 6. And upper bound value we will calculate as value is 40 plus M minus W is 6 into value by weight ratio of the next item. There is a fourth item value by weight ratio. It is 4. So, here we will get it as 64. The upper bound value 64. Now, if you are adding item number 3, its upper bound value is 69. If you are not adding item number 3, its upper bound value is 64. Which one we will choose? Obviously, 69. Which value is highest that we have to choose? So, we will choose to proceed with this note to the next level. Sister, consider item number 4. So, if you are adding item number 4 into the knapsack, what is the upper bound value? And if you are not adding item number 4 into the knapsack, what is the upper bound value? Both we have to calculate as like previous step. So, now for item number 4, weight is 3 and value is 12. So, weight is previously it is 9. Item number 1, weight is 4. Item number 3, we have added its weight is 5. Totally, it is 9. If you are adding item number 4, its weight is 3. So, totally we will get it as 12. What is our maximum capacity? Maximum capacity is 10. So, if you are adding item number 4, this exceeds the maximum capacity. So, it won't satisfy our problem constraints. So, this is not a feasible solution if you are adding item number 4. Okay, next step. Without adding item number 4. So, weight is previously 9. Currently, we are not adding item number 4. So, weight is 9 only. Value is previously it is 65. Currently, we are not adding item number 4. So, the value is 65 only. Okay. And M minus W, you are considering in the sense 10 minus 9, we will get it as 1. And upper bound value, if you are considering here in the sense value plus M minus W into Value by weight ratio of the next item. But here, this is our last item given in the problem. There is no next item. In that case, what we have to do it in the sense, in the previous step, what is the upper bound value we have calculated? Same we have to consider here. So, its upper bound value is 69. So, the optimal solution, if you are considering in the sense, that is the upper bound value 69. And what is the solution vector? we will get it. So, this solution vector is nothing but what are all the items we have considered to add it into the knapsack. So, only two items we have considered to add it into the knapsack and here this node we will choose because without adding item number 4. This is not feasible. This is a dead end. So, here item number 1 we have considered to add it into the knapsack and item number 3 also we have considered to add it into the knapsack. So, solution vector is 1 and 3 and this provides the optimal solution. Okay, so this is the final solution vector. So, here if you are considering in the sense, here we have discussed only the steps. How to implement knapsack problem using branch and bound technique. Here, we have not implemented the construction of the state space tree. Okay, but actually that is the main thing in branch and bound technique. Construction of the state space tree for solving a problem. Okay, so for understanding purpose, I have explained the steps in detail in this session. In the next session, for the same problem, we will implement the construction of the state space tree step by step.
Thank you for watching this video.